friends, I'm Ragini and I am thrilled to bring you this episode of Dancing into STEM. Today we are talking about symmetry. Here are some objects from the beach. Which ones are symmetric and which ones aren't? The crab is symmetric because when you draw a line through the middle of it, both sides look exactly the same, just flipped. The starfish is symmetrical too. Just like with the crab, you can draw a line through it and the two sides are exactly the same. But you can also draw five lines from its center outwards and each of the five pieces look the same as well. But the shell, there is no way to draw a line through it anywhere to give equal and similar parts. This is the concept of symmetry in an object, when you can draw a line or lines through it to divide it into parts that look the same, then an object is symmetric. As you can see, there are different kinds of symmetry. Let's try to use movement to explore these different kinds of symmetry. Here are Gayatri and Crystal. They are going to show us what bilateral symmetry looks like in movement. These movements are from the Indian classical dance form Bharatanatyam, which comes from South India. Did you see how each of Gayatri's movements were mirrored exactly by Crystal's movements? If you drew a line between them, the movements on either side were exactly the same. This is bilateral symmetry, just like we saw in the crab. Now here are some of my dancer friends. See if you can spot the type of symmetry in our formation. Did you notice that you could draw many lines and still have symmetric parts? These dancers showed radial symmetry, just like the starfish. Now, let's look at one more. Here's Kavya and Saron. Here, Saron and Kavya's movements showed asymmetry, just like the shell. I hope you enjoyed using movement to understand symmetry with us in this episode, and you also learned some basic movements in Bharatanatyam. Now, why don't you try using movement, any movement, to understand symmetry, by yourself or with your friends?